welcome back to the Bat Blitz of 2016, where we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the live action Batman TV show all year long here on Terrific TV Toys. Series four is what we're moving on to now in this collection by Figures Toy Company. And in this series, we have got, let's see, a guy who likes to read, a guy who likes to freeze, a guy who thinks he's an ancient king, and a guy who serves tea. Bookworm is the first character that we'll take a look at in Series 4 by Figures Toy Company for the Batman TV show. This villain was created for the 1966 TV series, as were several other villains that we're taking a look at in this figure collection. And he has appeared, though, in the comics, and not just in the Batman 66 comics that have been produced more recently based on the TV show, but in other comics as well. He wears a brown leather suit, which I think is fairly well replicated here on this figure. And um, on this series, it was meant to be reminiscent of old leather book covers, evidently. And this character was portrayed by the great Roddy McDowell, well-regarded actor of many years. Of course, we all know him from the Planet of the Apes movies, but just appeared in so many other great TV shows and movies over the years. Um, Night Gallery, one of my favorite series, he was on that, and just a bunch of other stuff. Um, Roddy McDowell was born September 17th, 1928, by the way, and died on October 3rd, 1998. So, Bookworm, um, he had evil plots that mirrored the plots of books, as you might imagine. He had trick radio eyeglasses and a book-like hat. And I think we're going to see something. I see something rattling around in there, so I think we're going to see a little bit of that. He also had knockout gas books that he used in his evil plots. And he traveled around in a bookmobile as opposed to a Batmobile. <laughs> he appeared in two episodes of Batman. The Bookworm Turns on April 20th, 1966, and then While Gotham City Burns the next day, next evening on April 21st. So we can see some screenshots of McDowell as the Bookworm. We'll turn it over real quick just to look at the back. Same as what we've seen on other figures in this series. And so let's get this guy out of the package. I want to see what they got going on here for this detailed figure. I'm going to leave the card in and just slip out the figure itself. And there's my accessory pack slipping out as well. And he's on the base on his twisty ties as with the other figures. Um, he's got his hat on, which is removable, I see, but it's stuck on him in the box, which is kind of nice. Um, let's get these off and slip him out of his packaging for this basically out-of-the-box experience. I'll have to take those twisty ties all the way off. I have them in keeping the bases, so it doesn't matter. I don't need to put it back together exactly as it was. Now he looks more like Roddy McDowell. I swear, in the packaging, I was looking at that face thinking, no, that really doesn't look like him, but now it does for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing Roddy McDowell. Okay, um, we did mention a book light hat. And I see a book light there. I also see the trick radio glasses, I guess. So let's go ahead and open the accessory pack first and get that rolling. There's the little book light. I can see how that's going to go. His glasses. Knock his hat off for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are liking that. <laughs> yeah. Just adorable. And then... This is kind of heavy, this hat, relatively heavy. It looks like a solid piece of plastic there, and it's bendy plastic, like vinyl. And then, oh, this little headband here is a separate piece of kind of thin, vinyl-y 
fabric that's put on the top and I see secured in the back. So let's see how this is going to go. If it's going to go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem to stay. It goes in the hole here on the hat. But doesn't push in all the way, so it doesn't stay. So if you know more about this, um, comment below. I wonder if you have to actually poke a hole through the plastic, which I am reluctant to do without knowing for sure. So if you know the deal for that, comment below. I don't want to deface my precious figure in any way. But once the book light is on, then it's in a variety of, like here it looks upside down, and here it's shining the light in the right way. <laughs> so we'll assume that that is meant to go on the hat in some fashion. Um, okay, so interesting thing with the hair here. It's two shades of brown. We've got some light brown mixed into a darker brown in the molded hair, very trim hair on his head. You can see that in the back as well. And nice leather suit with, of course, Velcro. There's our fabric tag. And a tie, a yellow satiny tie double piece of fabric and that is around his neck with an elastic piece there a uh, very pointed collar lapel of his shirt which has velcro as well oops i like to see all these separate pieces as i've commented in previous episodes a lot of nice detail and um <laughs> a little high-waisted here buddy of course, this is the 1960s. You know how fashion has changed over the years. Velcro in the back, and then shirt tucked in. Nice little white, separate, um, just kind of a cottony shirt. So the inside of the jacket, uh, as you can see, the stitching, and then a black on the other side of the pleather, or whatever we'd call it. And he is meant to be shown with brown gloves, so he's got brown colored hands that meet flesh colored arms with the articulation that we would expect there. And um, so we'll tuck his tie in and Velcro up his jacket with this gold fringe, <laughs> almost like Christmas decorations or a you know, little decorative fringe that you would use for crafts. Very cute. Um, and then the boots. The boots are similar to what we've seen on other figures, at least one other figure. Who was that? Was that Shane that was wearing these boots with a double zipper simulation here? In fact, you even see, if you look close, the zipper pull at the top. <laughs> nice. On each side, there's the zipper pull <laughs> simulated there. <laughs> like it. So, yeah, we got the brown boots, we got the monochromatic thing going on with the glove and the boots and the, um, the suit. And then, of course, the hat. So, Forgiving the fact that we don't have the book light attached here, we'll kind of attach it. He's just a little discombobulated. There is our bookworm. He's adorable. What book is he going to plot out of next? I don't know. I love the classics. Love me a little Nathaniel Hawthorne or Dostoevsky or Edgar Allan Poe. So who knows which one of those volumes would provide just the right evil plan for Gotham City. Stay tuned. Next week, it's Mr. Freeze.